Vancouver Police Department for days. Would the suspects be treated differently because they're fellow officers? Good afternoon, everybody. The city's chief answered today with a resounding yes. And I can assure you that it's highly unusual for an assault case to receive this unprecedented level of attention, priority, and urgency. Newspaper delivery man Phil Kahn suffered serious injuries to his head and hands after he was attacked early Wednesday morning. He pulled my kangaroo jacket, blindfolded, and after that he started kicking. The 47-year-old had been dropping off papers at this Vancouver hotel when investigators say one off-duty police officer beat Kahn and another robbed him of cash and a phone. The men had been partying at a local nightclub with another friend, also an officer, who apparently tried to stop the fight. None of them are members of the Vancouver Force. I know I speak on behalf of those men and women in law enforcement who still take pride in all they do when I say that this incident is an aberration that cannot and will not ever be tolerated. Police are recommending charges of assault, possession of stolen property, and robbery. It'll be up to the Crown to lay them. Khan is hopeful it will. I feel good uh, as long as, you know, like I say, uh, justice is there, right? The incident has shaken his faith in the country he chose to raise his children in particular because he believes the attack was racially motivated, claiming his attacker said, among other things, he didn't like brown people. Police say Khan was unable to identify exactly who uttered the alleged slur, but if he had been able to identify that person, Vancouver's police chief made clear his investigators would have recommended a hate crime charge also be laid. Rob Brown, CDB News.